host of No Face Movements, January 21st, 2013, and I'm bringing warnings and watches on space weather, on astrology and astronomy, and the No Face Movement and Mystique channel for January the 21st till January 23rd, 2013. Breaking news, we're underneath a geomagnetic storm watch. I'm about to get that to you in a second, but right now, we're about to get into NASA finds long-term climate warming trend around the whole world. Alright, like I said, folks, I got warnings and watches because of this global warming. It's not just from the pollutions and the pollutants on Earth, it's from the inner core and also the lining up the central galactic plane that is pulling on our sun, causing the solar maximum. Alright, now let's get into the video. And you can see the warming trend from the 1900s all the way up till uh, 2012, 2013. And you can see that the earth is warming up. And this ain't from pollution, folks. Alright. See, it's starting up in the north. Heading down south. South uh, Pole. Antarctica down there. And this is the Industrial Revolution. So if it was by pollution, it would be right now. In the 1960s, 70s, 80s. But you see how it picks up in the 80s, in the 90s, definitely over Russia, over North America, around Greenland, Alaska, the North Pole, and all the way up to 2012. Alright, folks, and it's going to keep on occurring. Alright, our sun is growing, our sun is getting warmer, the central galactic plane is pulling at our sun. Alright, now let's get into the space weather at spaceweather.com. Alright, this is space weather, and tonight, on January 21st, 2013, uh, Jupiter-Moon conjunction. Um, if you're down in the uh, South America, you're going to see it even better, and it's called an occultation. When the moon passes in front of Jupiter, um, I'm going to put warnings and watches out for earthquake uh, for January 22nd from that, from the gravitational pool. But on January 19th, January 20th, um, a full-fledged geomagnetic storm outbreak is happening from the CME injection that hit Earth's magnetic field on January 19th at approximately 17.15 UT hour. Alright folks, I got a lot of warnings and watches for major earthquakes, major storms, for uh, pole shift, a lot of stuff we're about to get into that a little bit deeper. Um, I got warnings and watches, 16.54 as we scroll over. You see it right here, 1654. It's gone. It's on the other side of the sun. All right, 1658 could produce an M-class solar flare, but 1660 could produce an X-class solar flare right now. But it looks like on here it only could produce a C-class solar flare. Um, we're gonna talk later on this year about uh, comet Ison, but right now from the CME you can see that our pole is litting up. And there's a geomagnetic storm going on right now. And in my next radar intel cast report, I'm going to show you over uh, North America. See if the storms are intense and put warnings and watches up. And let's move on. Um, we're about to get into... Let's scroll over. Solar Dynamics by uh, NASA. And you can see this is solar x-ray for the 21st. And you can see 1654 on the side that's going around. It still could produce X-class solar flare. If it swoops around, it might go the other way. Depends on the gravitational force. And AR-1660 looks like it could produce an X-class solar flare. Alright. This is Helio Viewer. And you can see 1660 is growing. It's moving across the Earth. Um, that's why I'm pulling out warnings for X-class solar flare. There's a little eruption on the side. Let's get into that. Now let's look at the solar flare that hit Earth on the uh, 1920th. You can see Mars, Mercury, Venus, and messed up their uh, geomagnetic pull to the sun. Same with Earth right here that's yellow. That's why there's a geomagnetic storm and it hit full fledged on. All right, I'll put warnings and watches out. And you can see and north, uh, uh, around the North Pole, the geomagnetic, it's more intensely around Greenland, Iceland, around Finland, up there. Alright. 
And you can see over here there's an eruption on the other side of the sun on January the 21st, 2013. All right. And there's an M class eruption on the other side. But this is X class. All right. Solar wind prediction as we go there by NOAA's government. And you can see on January 17th, the eruption. And it's going to hit Earth right there on January 19th. And we got geomagnetic storm continuing. All the way up till January 21st at 7 o'clock, folks. All right, folks. After that, within a couple days, we're going to get this other solar one. That's coming off the sun's uh, eastern, western limb. And it's going to hit Earth probably around the 23rd, 24th. All right. And we're on the RSOE warnings and watches. On February the 14th to the 16th, I'll put warnings and watches out for Asteroid 2012 DA14. I'm about to bring you a more exclusive report within this video. Um, as of, let's see if we see anything. January 21st, right here. 2013, State of California, Long Valley Cauldron. And that's an, that's only a uh, super volcano that's active today. Let's get the 2.0s, 4.0s in volcano earthquakes in North American earthquakes. There's a 2.9 in the Caribbean, British Virgin Islands. There's a 4.3 Costa Rica on a volcano, 4.3 Costa Rica on a volcano, 4.7 Greenland. And you wonder why from all the energy, 4.7 Greenland, 5.0 Greenland. A 5.0 Greenland, a 4.9 Greenland. That's from the solar uh, flare that hit Earth on the 20th, the geomagnetic storm. Um, we had 3.5 United States Alaska, 4.3 United States Alaska, 4.4 United States Alaska, 4.5 South Peruvian Indian Ocean, 4.2 Mexico, 4.5 uh, Indian Ocean, 3.2 United States Alaska, 3.7 Greece North. Aegean Sea should be on top of the volcano. 4.9 Greenland. Again, a 5.0 Greenland. A 3.1 uh, Greece. We had a 2.5 Greece on top of the volcano. 2.6 United States Alaska. A 4.9 Guatemala on a volcano. A 3.3 California. It's a pressure's building from the harp. 2.9 Greece on top of the volcano. 2.2 California on a volcano. 4.8 Indonesia. 4.8 Indonesia. We had a 2.8 Baja California and a 2.5 Baja California. All right, folks, no tsunamis, no nothing. Let me get a warnings and watches. I got warnings and watches still in effect for a moderate to major earthquake for Greenland and Iceland, including around moderate earthquakes for Sweden, Finland, Norway, United Kingdom from the geomagnetic pool. I got warnings and watches for moderate to major earthquake for Alaska, moderate to major earthquakes for the west coast of California, moderate to major earthquakes on the west coast of the United States of America within the next two weeks. I still got 80% warning for a major earthquake on the west coast and definitely around California. I got warnings and watches for moderate to severe earthquake on the New Midge fault line and the Appalachians uh, fault lines in the western New York and western PA. I got warnings and watches for Central America to moderate to severe earthquake. Warnings and watches for moderate to major earthquakes in the South America on the west coast and the east coast of Argentina. I got moderate to major earthquakes warning for Central Europe. And I got moderate to major earthquakes warning for Indian Ocean, Russia, China, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, Thailand, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Australia, and New Zealand. And a moderate to major earthquake warning for next 24 seven two hours still in effects for Central Europe from a harp signature rate we seen yesterday. And all the pressure in the water in Indonesia, moderate to severe earthquake. But definitely overall standpoint, around the whole ring of fire, moderate to major earthquake, including Hawaii, and all volcanoes are on red alert, and plus severe storm. Something that's really bothering me is that asteroid close approach on February 15, 2013. It comes right between the ring plane, also known as the, um, well, we're about to get to that. Um, but it's coming right through that, what's it called again? The Van Allen Belt. All right, and the gravitational pull is strong there. All right, folks. So 
when the comet comes through, it might tip from the gravitational pull. You gotta think, right? It depends on what kind of swerve this comet, uh, asteroid, sorry about that, asteroid 2012 DA14 comes into the Van Allen belt. Alright, the gravitational pull holds up our satellites and it's coming closer than ever. If you look at the Van Allen radiation belt, the inner belt's radiation, the outer radiation belt, but it's more severe here. That's probably where it's coming through, right between these two, right in the middle, 14,000 miles. Um, our Earth might pull it in. The moon might pull it in. It depends how the skies are looking that day. But I'm going to put warnings and watches. I don't believe it's going to hit Earth, but just in case, just keep watch why on all reports. And we might see a blackout that day because it is coming right through our satellites. This is the No Face Movement on Astrology and Astronomy. Please rate, subscribe, and follow me. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot. Um, Critter Box, Godlike Production. I want everyone out there to be prepared. Have a kid at home. And um, just be prepared. This is the movement. Moving, moving to next time. Facing off. Also, check me out on Mystique's channel. She's astrology. She's about bringing that report tomorrow. This is the movement. Moving out again. Facing off.